Hey, John from B2Web here. This is a, a quick overview of the new Wix uh, platform building uh, websites in HTML5. Uh, traditionally, Wix built uh, Flash websites. It's an online website builder. And now they've gone to this new uh, version, which is uh, really exciting. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how we're going to get into HTML5 or in my account here. And all I do is click this uh, banner here. And now up on the, the top left here, we have this templates. And we can choose Flash or HTML website. So I've clicked HTML. And now we have all our templates that you can choose from. So... Right now they have a total of 36 templates, but I'm sure they're going to make a lot more. So if we wanted a business template, we'd have to click that, and that lays out their business templates. So you can uh, view them or you can edit them. Now I have a site that's in production here, and so we'll go into that. It's right here, and see that. So here's a site. It's uh, basically a template. I didn't do a lot of changes to it. Uh, the point of this video is to show you the features of this. Now, this actually operates quite a bit differently than the traditional uh, Wix with the Flash uh, platform. This works a lot more similarly to a traditional uh, online website builder. So you can see you can basically take control of uh, every little section of every page. Here we're on the home page. We can change our text in there like that. and. We can change our links there, change our titles, we can change our menus right up here. So we have full control. It's basically like a blank canvas here. Um, and speaking of blank, you can uh, also get a blank template and start from scratch if you wish. So, and we can change the image for the slider and all that. So your basic uh, options are listed here on the left here. We've got pages, design, add, and settings. So. Going into pages, right now by default there are these four pages and you can go into each one and uh, and edit them. So now here's the Who We Are page and you can see that you can change these images as well and you can change all this text and, and you can actually add uh, big sections as well. So if you want to add another title, another section, no problem. Um, this is kind of cool here. If you take the whole site here you can see that if you wanted to add another section, you just scroll it down like that, and then up like that. So it's um, really, really drag and drop friendly here. The other cool thing is this. This is something I've never seen before. It's called page transitions down here at the bottom. You can actually have your pages do transitions like a swipe, so it'll swipe over to the horizontal and or vertically or cross fade or out in. So this is uh, it's kind of a neat effect. It's different than the usual website where it just goes to a new page. You add a page here and then you put in your link wherever it's going to be on the website and then your settings and SEO. Uh, Flash, if you don't know, is not very good for SEO. HTML5 does work with SEO and by, by working with SEO what I'm referring to is that the uh, search engines are able to pick up the text and the content of any particular web page. So with Flash pages, it doesn't pick it up very well, if at all. And now that Wix is on HTML5, uh, they're going to probably do very, very well with this because now websites made with Wix will work with SEO. So, and we have our basic SEO. Uh, we've got the, the page name, we've got the page address. We can uh, put that in there. Here's where your SEO stuff is. You got the title. The description and your keywords. So it's pretty much it. It's not a uh, comprehensive SEO uh, panel, but that's uh, all you need to do to uh, get it set up. The next panel is design. So you can completely change the background. They actually load in a uh, bunch of backgrounds here. You can check them out by default, or you can add in your more, uh, add in your own colors. You, they have pre-configured uh, color schemes and you can just choose them and it changes it all or of course you can customize the palette yourself. And then fonts. You have full font control, uh, lots of uh, default fonts and you can customize your fonts. So you have full design control with your uh, Wix website. Well, back to close that out. Now we've got add. And here's where we're going to add content or uh, basically content of all types. We can add text. So if we wanted to add text here, uh, we just, so what we have is we have this box, 
you know, bear with me. This is uh, brand new after it's been. There we go. Move that down there and put in a whole new. You now we want to change the font naturally and we'll make that the same as that. But we create essentially another box right there. You can add images anywhere without frame, with frame. They have some, uh, they don't have a lot of clip art here, but you can definitely upload your own. And then we have our settings, the site address, favicon, SEO for the site. This is for site-wide settings and then statistics. You're going to have to integrate with Google Analytics. I'll go back to this ad. So you can add shapes and lines, you can add media, you can add buttons and menus for all your navigation. You can add social and then you have this add-ons down here. You put a contact form in there. I recommend if it's a business site, a contact form on every page of your website, whether on the side or at the bottom, is uh, good for people to contact you. Uh, Google Maps, HTML. So if you just need a, if you have a, a big coded uh, chunk of code that you want to put in your website, you can just grab that and place that somewhere on your website. You've got the Flickr gallery and you've got eBay integration as well. That's it. You've got a lot of control. You can change your title up here. I think it's, unfortunately, this thing tends to get in the way there. There's B2Web. You can change the title to your, of your site any way you like. You can also upload a custom image as well. Once you're done, you save your website here. You can preview it, and then you publish it. Now, Wix, Wix will uh, let you have a free website. It'll be on their server. and. Uh, you're going to have Wix ads on your website, and but it's great for uh, test driving this HTML5 program. If uh, you want your own domain and you don't want ads, you're going to have to upgrade. And the pricing's uh, quite reasonable. It's anywhere from uh, about $4 a month up to about 16 and change per month, depending on uh, some of the upgrade features that you want. But the key upgrade features, in my view, is a custom domain and um, uh, no ads on your website. So if you're going to do this for business or any commercial purpose, uh, if you like Wix, uh, I recommend upgrading so you, you get that custom domain. You know, just about a custom domain, it's not only about uh, that you know looking more professional with your own domain but there's also an element of you know if you're going to you know get people linking to your website and build up your website and invest in that you don't want to build up a web URL that's uh, not owned by you in the long run you're much better off building up a web domain that is uh, entirely owned by you and it's your web property because that does actually really become a good asset so that wraps up this tour of uh, Wix HTML5. My only complaint with this uh, is there's no uh, built-in blog feature. Essentially what you have to do is you have to create a new page, a static page, uh, each time for new content. I think uh, I, I haven't heard from Wix whether they're going to add blog functionality. I hope they do. I think that'd be fantastic. I suspect they will because other website builders have it. Um, but uh, aside from that, I think it's uh, really easy to use. It could, you can get a site up within a day easily and uh, build it up from there.